So let's go and try this in Photomodeler and let's see what we can do. All right, so I just opened up Photomodeler here and I'm going to start a new project and this is going to be a manually marked project. Okay, there's nothing automatic about this one. This is rock bottom bare bones where you just have to get in there and do some stuff by brute force. So I'm going to be opening up the images and I am going to be choosing this one this one and this one i'm only going to be working with uh, three images and that's good enough and i'm going to go next now in this case um, i'm just going to use what's called an exif camera so it's basically going to pull the information out of the uh, jpeg headers and it will know roughly what my you know what my focal length was and my camera and that sort of thing so now if you have a fully calibrated camera which i do um, i could go in and just say it's a calibrated camera and it's in my library but i'm actually going to uh, just use this the xf camera because if you do it the first time that's probably be oh, well that will probably be what you have so um, what i'm going to do here is i've got these three images so let me open them up just double click them all i could actually open them all up at once and the first thing is that they're all kind of sideways which kind of stinks so i'm going to select these all and i'm going to go properties of selected photos and i'm going to rotate these 90 degrees so that i don't have to deal with sideways images and like that and now we get a view of everything so uh, looking at these yeah the photos look pretty good I can make out all these uh, corners and stuff like that so the basic process starting from here is that I need to mark and reference um, the same points in all three photographs so what I'm going to do is I could just do points or I can do lines and I will probably just do lines just so you can visually see what I'm connecting here so basically how this is going to work is I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to use uh, the shortcut key four, and I'm going to click right here at the intersection of the, the wall and the tape. So I just went just above there. Now I'm going to be doing this quickly. So normally I would go in and use uh, a lot more care, but for the purposes of uh, this uh, tutorial, I think it'll be okay. I may not get great results, but uh, I'll get where I need to be and you'll get the idea that's what really matters so I'm just gonna start connecting these and you'll see I'm gonna to go to the top here the corner I'm gonna go up here and you see this is a really good um, example of where it helps to have uh, some kind of an indicator or helper or tape or something like that so I'm having a hard time trying to figure out where that corner is but I'll come back maybe and I'll adjust it later so I'll do that and I'll restart a line from here to here and then I'll do one from here to here. Now let me just have a look. So that's clearly not correct. So I'm just going to switch and move this because it has to line up with the tape. I know that for sure because uh, that was right on the edge. So that's good. And this one looks pretty good too, but I need to move that over. So having a few little helpers is beneficial for sure. So that's much better. Okay, now we're going to do the top here and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to continue drawing lines somewhere up here 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 down to the corner and i'll finish this off like that and like this all right and i'll connect these okay and i can also connect these two why not it'll make a plane like it'll make a surface now you'll see here this is what i was talking about before i should have put a piece of tape up here if i wanted to complete this one but there's enough here that i think you can see um, what i'm doing and you can kind of get the idea uh, also at the bottom here this is the baseboard so the baseboard is a little different because it actually comes out further so i would need to draw some lines here but just for the heck of it maybe i'll draw the uh, some tiles on the floor i'll just make a few points here like this and then i'll go here in this corner like this and i'll have to pick one that i gotta call it quits on so i'll do this one and maybe i'll just pick oh boy um what am i going to do well actually i can close it like this in a triangle maybe i'll just do that yeah that'll work 
Okay, now to repeat the process. So I'm basically going to be doing the exact same thing over here. And uh, I'm not going to let you sit through this whole thing and watch me do this. It's kind of boring. So I'll stop the video and then I'll come back when it's all done. Okay, so I now have uh, the photographs marked with the points and I've created a little surface on the ground here and I've got, you know, all the corner or the intersections um, identified. So um, what, one of the things I can do is I can actually turn on IDs and you'll see that all these points have unique numbers on them. Okay. So what I need to do now is reference them and to reference them, what I need to do is get into referencing mode. That's R. And if I click on a point here and then another point here and the same point here, so I'm picking the same point in the same place, you'll see that they've all been referenced. So they're given the same number. And that's what I'll need to do. Now, um, there is something called automatic processing. So there's a little guy down here and he's standing. Now I shut him off, but um, normally in photo modeler, he's on by default. He's in sort of a, a running position and uh, that will automatically process. I don't know if it's just an old habit, but I tend to uh, shut that off. And then uh, once you get enough points marked, uh, you can then go in and just process yourself. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to get enough points marked. I may just mark them all. And then um, you'll see where we get into some problems here. Actually, let me see here. That's 19. That's 19 here. Okay. So now 19 is done. So let me do this one up here. There is there is there. And you can see it's pretty quick to do. It's not too bad. This one is this one is this one now i can't get around in this particular photo but that's okay so long as i've got it in at least two so you'll see here i just i only have two even this corner well this corner i actually have i've done already this outer corner i should have in all three okay but two is pretty much the minimum once you're down a two that's pretty bare bones so you should try to get uh, three wherever possible so um i just got a a little uh not a warning, but just a little reminder that says, hey, you know, you got enough points marked that you can process this if you want. So I just ignore that. And once I get them all marked the way I want, then I will process the project. So almost there. Got this one, this one, and this one. And then I think I'll just, uh, I got this corner here. So 27 is done, but it's not here. So I'll do that one there. And I'm just going to do the ground here where all the tiles are. So there, there, there. Now, I've been doing this pretty quick, so I don't expect my error to be fantastic uh, or low. So this is going to be a fairly high error. And, you know, by really going in and adjusting these things properly and making sure that they're at very discrete locations, then you're going to get a much better uh, result. So here these look like they're all referenced. Um, that's the reference image. These are all referenced and that's all referenced. 